Look at these guys just hanging out. They're just chit-chatting. It's it's cocktail hour. Hi. Hello when these guys are out here. Last time I was here they weren't out. That's cool, they'll take your picture here and this is the backdrop. Not bad. Today we're gonna be here at Icon Park, seeing what's new, some construction updates, and see what's going on. It's been a couple of months since we've been here. I can see that the Star Flyer is taking off. That's one thing I will never do. Still hasn't made it all the way up yet. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Today we're going to be here at Icon Park on International Drive seeing what's new, what's going on. There's some construction happening with some new attractions that are coming here and it's been a couple of months since I've been here. Hopefully more things have opened up with everything in the world still being a little weird but more businesses are opening up. Things are resuming on construction and I just felt like coming out here today and bringing you guys so now Let's take a closer look. Now I get asked this question quite a bit. What about parking? Well, there's free parking in the garage here. If there's no parking available there, there's parking in the back. And then if you go over right over here in this parking lot to the left, next to Kings Bowl and Sluice Mystery Dinner, there is valet parking for Charlie Steakhouse, but then behind that is more free parking, and that's where I park today, just because I didn't want to have to deal with the parking garage. But the parking garage, for the most part, is always open. See, there's a little bit of a line going into the elevator to get to their car there in the, the parking garage, so that's why I didn't want to deal with that. Sometimes it's a little quicker just to park away from the garage and walk in. All these pop-up stands here are open. There's vapes, there's snow cones, there's we got, what is it? Oh, smell goods. I got some perfume and cologne over here. That's interesting. Got a sweet and salty stand here. Cotton candy, street corn. I love street corn. That's cool. You can get cotton candy and street corn here. Right down from that. Oh, look, there's the train. See, the train does go all over Icon Park. That's pretty neat. And then there's some frozen goodies right here. This is all I think coconuts, yeah, it's all coconut. Coco crazy. There's a gift shop here, Icon Park Gifts. It has different Disney and Orlando based merchandise inside. It's it's always been interesting to me how these places can get away with things like this. Like, you know, I, I'm sure Disney doesn't care, but it's like, you know, free promotion for them. But I always find it interesting when places have, you know, copyrighted stuff like this and they use, you know, this. That's crazy. Like this I can see being okay, but the Disney gifts, I don't know, that's always like, <laughs> it's weird, right? And then as you continue down, there's more shops and restaurants. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that the Build-A-Bear workshop opened over here, that's cool. There's Sloppy Joe's that's coming soon, a new restaurant there. And Sloppy Joe's, I think this is the, the place I've seen at Margaritaville. I could be wrong, but I wonder if this place has sloppy joes from the looks of the photo i don't think they do there's a oxygen bar which you've never done an oxygen bar it's awesome they just pump you in with a bunch of oxygen and you just kind of hang out and it's really cool i i did one in nashville once upon a time and it was very much like relaxing they also have aqua massage and wellness products inside that's all next to tin roof here and then on the back side here is buffalo wild wings Wow, a lot of things are popping up here. Oh look, they got a pretzel and lemonade stand now here. This is cool. A lot more stands, a lot more food options because you know a lot of it was sit-down restaurants, but the fact that they have just pop-up stands where you can just grab a pretzel and continue with your day around here, that's cool. You could get here early, grab a small bite to eat like a pretzel or something, go do all the attractions, and then eat dinner at Uncle Julio's or the Yard House or the Tin Roof. And the Tin Roof has live music sometimes, it's awesome. They always have a really good band when they do have the, the live music. Yes, on property here, they do have a currency exchange. So that's good to know if you're traveling from different parts of the world. And there it is. The wheel, the icon, whatever you want to call it. The big Ferris wheel in Orlando. <laughs> this thing has had so many changes and names. I can't keep up. But it's still here. It's still very fun. I've done it plenty of times. Now right next to Tin Roof is the Sugar Factory. I've never been there, but I know it has to do with sugar. They have burgers, 
waffles, crepes, salads, fondue, pancakes. But I know it has to do with a lot of like sugary based drinks and stuff. Apparently a lot of celebrities go to Sugar Factory. And here we go. The main entrance to Icon Park. Gonna go around the, the turn here, see what's going on. Let's see what they've updated here inside because last time I was here, this was being built in the game. It's like a huge arcade they have in there. Look at that. Wow. That's all new. I used to get to like stand right here to get your ticket over there. And they've added that, the wheel entrance. That's cool. Right next to Madame Tussauds, there's pink. Right up there. So this is all new. That's awesome. Oh, the tickets in the bar is finally done. Last time I was here, they had a wall up. So that's cool. There's the the bar they have. And then this is a new thing they have. Your capsule, your playlist. You can you have a free in-capsule Bluetooth so you can listen to your own music when you're doing the wheel. That's that's neat. I like that. This is a very cool entrance though. I love that. That's amazing. And the 7D dark ride is still here in the center, but I can't get over this, the bar in the center. I figured it'd be a lot more crazier, you know, in here. The wheelhouse market has some new food options over there. They have pizza, pasta, chicken, and some sweets. They've kind of updated this whole area since the last time I was here. Very cool. Buy your tickets online, you guys. This line is pretty long on the inside. It wraps around quite a bit. So go online and buy your tickets. I believe you get a discount for buying your tickets online too. In case you guys are wondering about the, the Pearl Express, which is the train here, kids are $6 and adults are only $4. So adults get a, a little, little break on the, the price. Oh man, they have two trains. That's awesome. The other one's parking up next to the, the other one there. That's really neat, two trains, keep it going. And this is new, I've never seen this. They have gemstone mining here. That's awesome. It's $10 to, to take part in the, the gemstone mining. I remember doing that as a kid at the Petrified Forest back in Mississippi. The wheel seems to be moving away. That's awesome with the wind and the rain and the weather, you know, the elements here in Florida, sometimes this doesn't operate. So it's hit or miss. My adventure that I did, I had to come back because of the weather. I think it was the weather. The link to that video is up above if you guys want to see what it's like to ride the, the wheel. And there's also going to be a link for Sea Life and Madame Tussauds. I did all three. But there is a new adventure over here. The Museum of Illusions and it's fully open. Pretty awesome. Museum of Illusions. It's completely open. I know some friends who have gone and done videos of this. I need to do this soon. I'm going to have to bring Abby with me when I do this though. And just like I was talking about earlier, buy your tickets online because you can see right now it's already sold out until 6.30 tonight. The current time is 5 o'clock so couldn't do anything until 6.30. Tapa Toro restaurant there is Tapas. There is a coffee, crepes, beer, wine, and cocktail place here. Cafe de Paris. Ben & Jerry's ice cream is here. And this courtyard area is open and operating. I remember at one point they had this whole thing blocked off. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that. It's like the Twisted Taters. That's awesome. They have different Twisted Taters here. That's awesome, man. That's all reminds me of Halloween Horror Nights. Here's another shot of the courtyard of Icon Park. And it seems like they have a little bar area here that's roped off. So you can sit there, but they don't want you taking the alcohol from that. So that's nice. You can sit right next to the, the wheel there. Well, Gordon Ramsay's coming here. It says right here, Big Fish landing soon, August 2021. Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. I wonder if Gordon Ramsay himself is going to come out here and, and see how this operates. I'm sure it'll be a big fiasco with him opening up a restaurant here in Orlando. That's, that's pretty nifty. Oh wow, they have churros over here in this stand. So you have churros, you have twisted taters. Everybody's got something to snack on here. Looking at a layout of the map, we're right here in this area now. 35 over here, if you look, the slingshot and the drop tower is coming soon. We're gonna go and look at the construction of that and see what they've done since the last time we were here. That's way over on the far right hand side. So past Old Red is where that's gonna be. And there goes the Pearl Express and the fountains are back on. Oh, hey, the birds are back out. These things are awesome. Look at these guys just hanging out. 
They're just chit-chatting. It's it's cocktail hour. Hi. Hello when these guys are out here. Last time I was here they weren't out. That's cool, they'll take your picture here and this is the backdrop. Not bad. Man, they've got so many different options out here. They have airbrush hats and shirts over here. They've got hats and sunglasses over here. So if you forget those items or lose them, you can pick up a, another pair. I want to try Uncle Julio's. I believe it's a taco place. I want to I wanna try that place one day. And there's some more stuff down through here I would like to try. We're going to venture down over here to see what's going on with the drop and the slingshot that's currently under construction. This is Old Red. It's a restaurant and bar and they have live music here. It's, it's country themed bar, I believe it's Blake Shelton's restaurant. They are closed on Mondays, just to let you guys know. So don't come out here on a Monday. It's interesting that they're closed on a Monday. But hey, they're open pretty much every other day of the week. Here's their, here's their times if you guys are curious about visiting. Monday they're closed, Tuesday to Thursday 5 to close. I don't know what close is, it doesn't say. <laughs> Friday is 5 p.m. till late night and then Saturday 11.30 a.m. till late night and then Sunday 11.30 to close. That's interesting, I kind of like that. We're, we're open till we close. <laughs> That's a unique way of, of putting it. Oh my gosh, right over here, this is it. It's gonna be very close. I didn't think it was this close to the icon, the wheel over here and everything. This is where the world's tallest slingshot and drop tower is gonna be. Here's a, a detailed rendering of it. Wow. Yeah, there's the slingshot, and then that is the drop tower. It's gonna lift you up and then drop. That looks taller than the Star Flyer. I don't know. I see the I see some of the construction happening right over there. I believe this is the the slingshot. One side's here and the other side is right there. And you can see all the the construction going on over the wall. Look at this old school cotton candy machine. That's cool. Yeah, dang. I'm thinking, I'm thinking what we're looking at with these purple and white is this right here, the purple and white. So I don't know if they've even started on the, the drop. I think these are the slingshot. That's crazy. So they're probably going to move those over there. They were just constructing them here and then they're going to move them. That's weird that it's like all out in the open, right? And they've got it roped off and everything, but dang, that's crazy. And then right here, they've got this whole thing fenced off. Just doing an educated guess. I have a feeling these are gonna move over there as a part of the slingshot, and then right over here is gonna be the drop tower. So slingshot here and drop tower right there. Oh, we've got something new coming here. Brother Jimmy's established 1989 Southern Food, Southern Fun, and Southern Living. I have no idea what this is, but I'm Southern, and I know some guys named Jimmy, so maybe I can hang here. Wow, okay, so Brother Jimmy's is taking up all of this. All of this right here is Brother Jimmy's. That's three buildings right there. That's crazy. Way to go, Jimmy. There's the Pearl Express. Looks like it's coming down towards us. This thing really gives you like a full tour of Icon Park, I must say. Oh, he's making a, he's making a Yui. Making a Yui right there. That's cool. It's funny, when people are on trains, they love people taking their photos and video. So many new things happening here at Icon Park. So many things open. There's like, I'm honestly like, thrilled about the variety of food options and drink options they have down here because I know like when my family comes to visit me in Orlando I like to take them places where there are options so if you have a family that's everyone likes their own thing or some picky eaters and drinkers this is definitely the place to, to put on your list of things to do on your vacation 
And if you're local too, like I could see me and Abby coming down here for a date night, you know, there's lots of options and a lot of open space too. Plenty of places to sit, relax. There's a nice breeze out here. There's fans in a lot of places. All these places are air conditioned. So yeah, Icon Park is getting a thumbs up for me. And not that Icon Park didn't have a thumbs up for me, but you know, with everything closing and then reopening a lot of places, didn't really reopen the way they should and it's kind of been difficult for them because of everything that happened. But Icon Park kind of bounced back in a big way. Look at these inflatable dogs. There's George. That's my dog right there. See, there's George. That's hilarious. George, you're an inflatable dog. You made it. If you're looking for a burger, they have Shake Shack here right next to Carabas and Buffalo Wild Wings. So I know a lot of people who are into just burgers and fries, so they do have that here. I stopped off and got myself a snow cone here. They had tiger's blood. Tiger's blood it was my favorite when I was a kid. Something I haven't had in well over, I'm gonna say 20 some odd years. I'm excited about this. Like, too excited about this. Forget how messy snow cones are. All right, here we go, tiger's blood. I return back to my childhood. Tastes the same. And I can't tell you what that tastes like. It tastes like tiger's blood. It tastes like going to the water park. When I was a kid, we had a water park in Mississippi called Rapids on the Reservoir. And I had an annual pass. And we would go all the time. And then we would go to Snow Biz and get a snow cone. And I always got tiger's blood. And then I discovered you could take lemonade and pink lemonade and mix it together. And that was my go-to for a long time. But tiger's blood, that's OG. Like summer of 95 right here. Crazy how flavors can bring you back to a certain, certain time in your life. And I can't believe it took me this long to get a tiger's blood snow cone. And now I have a brain freeze. Good thing I'm eating this pretty quickly because it's melting out here in this heat. <laughs> That's no joke. This thing is going quickly, but it's good. It's really good. That snow cone hit the spot. That was delicious. And the, the afternoon rain clouds are rolling in as you can see, but there's a lot happening down here at Icon Park. And I look forward to the future and seeing what they bring here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this update video, but I think we took care of business here today at Icon Park on International Drive. I think our adventure for today has come to an end, which means I probably have really red lips from that, uh, that snow comb that hit the spot. Relive your childhood in food form or drink form. Eat something or drink something you haven't had since you were a kid. It's good for the soul. But it's time to say goodbye. I will see you guys on the next adventure. The next time you're here at Icon Park, tell them World of Micah sent you. See you guys soon. Stay weird. Goodbye.